Hey, what's up everybody, Richard Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install both an SSD as well as a hard drive inside of your gaming PC. So for this video today, I'm using my HP Pavilion gaming PC to demo this process. Let's dive into it. All right, so here I have my HP Pavilion gaming PC. So I'm going to turn this over to the side here, and this is the side panel that we're going to actually remove to access everything within. So your gaming PC typically will always have one side that is removable so you can access everything inside. So in this case, if we turn this over, there's just one screw that actually holds this panel in, and it's located right here. Typically on gaming PCs, you're gonna have one or two screws that just hold that side panel in. So for me, it's a um, star bit here, and I believe it's a T, let me see what it is here. Um, T15H is what this one says. And if you're interested in picking up a whole kit of these, it has every single size um, screwdriver head known to man in the kit. I'll put a link in the description of this video because it really is a great kit um, at a really great price point too. So I actually have two of those. Um, so just simply unscrew this. You don't even have to take the screw out all the way, at least on my HP Pavilion gaming PC. Um, and it's got this little indent right here where you can put your fingers in and just pop this panel towards you. So I'm gonna do exactly that. Just pop it towards me. And now you can see it comes right out like that. And it's got a little track system there, so you do have to match that up when you go to put it back. But we'll turn this over so you can see inside. So you can see literally everything that this PC has to offer here. I actually have Windows 11 installed within here. That's how it came stock. But we have this cage right here that I am actually going to use to install a hard drive and SSD with you guys here on camera. I always use this because it's really easy to remove everything and swap out SD, SSDs or um, hard drives. And I jump between a bunch of different setups all the time with Botticera. So I'm constantly in here taking everything out and swapping everything. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install an SSD, but I'm also gonna show you guys how to install a hard drive as well. So first thing we're gonna do, you're gonna see up here, there is a screw that keeps this cage secured. So it's the exact same size as what we used before. Everything within here is gonna be the exact same size to keep everything simple. So that secures it in place. And then there's just some little tabs here and that slides all the way down. You can also fully remove it. Down at the bottom, there's three different teeth down here. They just go into uh, the three slots that are on the frame. So they just kind of sit in place like this. Hard to do one-handed. And then it acts as a hinge. So you can install your hard drive or SSD right on there. So we're gonna start off with the SSD. So this actually came with all these cables. You may need to pick up some SATA cables to install um, your hard drive or SSD within your gaming PC. Um, this is a SATA 3 right here. So on your SSD, there's only two ways to connect. So the larger one's gonna go where the larger one goes and the smaller one's gonna go right beside it really foolproof there, no other way to possibly connect this. Um, and this is just another extension here. So I'm going with the closest one to my computer board there. And that's all we have to do. That's the only connection we need to make for an SSD. So we're just gonna put the cage up like that and you're just gonna line up your screw holes with the holes on the cage. So let me grab a couple of screws. You can put all four in or just one or two, um, especially with a SSD, they're really light. They're not going to be, um, you know, floating around in there. One would be more than enough to secure it effectively. So that looks like a good position there. Just make sure that you don't go and um, make this too, um, too tight, your cable too tight in there. You wanna make sure you have a little bit of slack on there. So actually, One's not quite enough because it does kind of pivot back there. So I'm going to put another one down here in the corner. It looks like a good spot right about there. And you can see that's securing it. I didn't square it off perfectly, but certainly keeping it secure back there. And then we just have that one screw up at the top to keep the cage intact. 
just like that. So we've got our SSD installed in here. We've secured the cage back to the frame and we are ready now to just put our side panel back on. So that it's literally that simple to put the side panel back on. Every gaming PC is gonna be a little bit different, but typically you wanna kind of rock your PC back a little bit just to line it up on the track and then just push it forward. All we have to do now is secure this screw right here, which I can even do with my fingers here, um, and that'll lock it in place. If you find that you're wrestling with this, just take your time, go back, and make sure you're lining up properly in the track. If you have to wrestle with it, it's something's not right. You're not lined up correctly, because you can see just how smoothly these go back together as long as you've aligned everything. And usually the issue is down here. There's a track underneath, so I typically will do that end and then go up to the top from there. So that is the SSD. I'm gonna open this back up though. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do the same thing with a hard drive, which obviously is a little bit bigger. So we're gonna take this cage back off, lower it down. I'm gonna disconnect those before I lower it all the way down. And I can just take this off, take those two screws out. Same thing here, take that last one out. SSD, remove that. So now we're gonna put this big hard drive on here. And this is going to take up much more space and my cage is actually a little bit small on this PC. So it's gonna hang over a little bit, no harm there though. So I'm going to, I'll actually, you can see where I've installed this in the past. This is my usual hard drive. I've actually taken the paint off of that one so I know exactly where I want it. So I'll just line it up there like that. These have magnetic tip, makes everything so much easier having that magnetic. You don't have to fumble with it. So I'm just gonna secure that there and then I have another hole that lines up perfectly right here. And again, you can place it anywhere you want on that screen or that cage rather. So next screw is gonna go right there. Two is enough, doesn't move at all. No play in this whatsoever. So I'm just going to put those three teeth at the bottom into the frame. And now you see how it acts as a hinge there. I'm just gonna slide back here, make those two connections. And now we'll just secure the cage back to the frame. And we are good to go. All the cables are connected. We're just gonna pop on the side panel. Slide it forward like that. And then we just have this screw to secure the panel back in place. Couple turns on that. And we are good to go. Ready to power this on. And I'll actually take you guys through the powering on process because you typically will have to change your boot order in order to get your SSD or hard drive to fully boot up, especially if you're using something like Botticera. All right, so I have everything wired up, ready to go. Everything's connected. And I also have my keyboard here. You're going to want to have your keyboard on hand connected to your PC. This is wireless. I have a USB receiver plugged into the back of this PC. And you want the keyboard because you're going to want to access your settings in order to adjust your boot order. So every PC and gaming PC is going to be a little bit different. With my gaming PC here using the HP Pavilion gaming PC, it's F10 that we want to hit. So function 10 is going to be the button that we hit repeatedly in order to access our settings. And again, that's gonna differ from PC to PC. I've seen it be um, F9, F10, of course, F7, F2, F4, uh, even F1. So it just depends on what PC you have. You can check your manual, or you can just, of course, go trial and error and see what um, function button actually gives you access to your settings here. So I'm gonna power this on and immediately start hitting the F10 button right here. And you're gonna see on screen here exactly how this populates in. 
So you can see on screen, we access the HP BIOS setup utility here. So we're gonna move over with our arrow keys and we're just gonna hit no here on screen. That's always the prompt that I get when I access this. So we're gonna navigate across the top there. You can see we're by default going to land on main. So just with the arrow keys, we're gonna go over to boot options. And this may look different depending again on what gaming PC or regular PC you're using. But for the HP Pavilion gaming PC, this is exactly what I see. So once we're highlighting boot options, we're gonna drop down to OS Boot Manager. We're gonna select this with enter on our keyboard and you can see the list of connected options. So we have Windows Boot Manager, that's gonna be my built-in Windows 11 hard drive that is within this PC, comes stock on here. And then you can see the UEFI OS right below that. That is the hard drive that I just installed with you guys here. And that is the full hard drive, not the SSD. That's what we ended up doing second. That's what I have in there currently. So in order to set your boot order here, your top option is going to be what your PC boots to automatically. So currently, if I didn't access this and I just powered on this PC, I would be going into Windows 11 because that is the hard drive that is listed first. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit F5 and that's gonna lower that top option down. So now you can see the top option is the UEFI OS. And again, that is the hard drive running Botticera that I just installed with you guys. So all we have to do now is press F10. That's going to save this boot order. And now we're gonna navigate over to exit across the top with our arrow keys to the right. We're going to hit enter, and this is going to save the changes and exit us out. You can see here it says save changes and exit. We're just going to confirm that by hitting enter and that's going to confirm yes, that that is in fact exactly what we want to do. So now our entire computer is going to reboot, but since we changed that boot order, it's going to automatically boot us into Botticera, which is what is installed on that hard drive that we just installed into this gaming PC. All right, so as you can see from this video, really a straightforward process here to install your SSD or hard drive into a gaming PC. Typically gaming PCs have a good amount of space. You don't have a ton of stuff kind of crammed together inside of a gaming PC. So you have a lot of room to work and actually install either hard drive or SSD. Whereas a typical PC, desktop PC for example, typically you're gonna have a lot of stuff in there Usually it's really compact and hard to fit anything additional. So oftentimes that complicates everything. You have to deal with a lot of cables and connections and sometimes you have to work around other drives that are installed within. So gaming PCs are always a lot easier to install SSDs or hard drives on. If you have any questions, anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help here on YouTube. And of course, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. I'll see you on the next video.